Hello, Father Kubicki here, wishing you a happy Mardi Gras. Now, I don't speak French, but I know that those words mean Fat Tuesday. And they're for the day before Ash Wednesday when fasting begins. In New Orleans, Rio de Janeiro, and all sorts of other places, people are celebrating Carnival, which comes from the Latin words Carnevale, or Farewell to Meat. It's a time to party and to overindulge. And doesn't that strike you as odd? I think that for most people, Mardi Gras has lost any connection to Christianity and Lent. It's just an excuse to party, and the next six weeks of Lent really aren't going to be much different than any other period for most people. Now, it's good to celebrate and to enjoy good food and drink. I'm sure Jesus must have enjoyed a good party. Otherwise, why would he have been invited to all those dinner parties that public sinners had, thus drawing the ire of the Pharisees and scribes who accused him of eating and drinking with sinners? In fact, if you think of one of the famous gospel stories, you get some idea of why Jesus may have been invited. I can just imagine folks putting together their invitation list and adding Jesus with the words, yeah, let's invite Jesus. He might make some good wine for us like he did at Cana. So Christianity doesn't frown upon celebrations. Jesus had a good time and he wants us to as well. But that doesn't mean overindulging or engaging in behavior that's sinful. God wants your happiness even more than you do. And God knows that the price for overindulging isn't worth it. The hangover, the heartburn, and the soul burn of sin. Nothing's worth risking the loss of the eternal happiness God has prepared for you that can indeed be lost if you value physical pleasure more than you value God.